In this section we're going to cover how to get started with the Excitec FM CAD tools. So I'm actually working on a machine now which is not configured. I'm just going to go through two simple configuration steps. First of all I need to go into config, go to the files section, support path and I need to add in the folder where my Excitec FM CAD tools are stored. Now this location will potentially be different on your machine uh, but you need to locate where the DLL files principally are for the Excitec FM CAD tools and put that location in here. We can then OK that. The next thing I need to do is actually load the menu. So I can do a CUI load command and I now browse Again, I need to locate where it is, so I'm pointing at the right place on my machine already. Again, this location will potentially be different on your machine. And because I'm running a version above 2013, I need to load the FXS4 Remote 13 CYX file. Just need to open that. And now that I've selected it down here, I also then need to load it, which is what actually adds the menu. And then I need to close and you notice we have an additional space planning menu here. Now those two things I've just done you won't normally need to do so once your machine is configured generally it should stay that way. Um, what you will need to do whenever starting to use um, the EFM CAD tools for a particular AutoCAD session is you will need to load the tools into memory and that's this icon here which is load application Depending on your configuration settings, you may get um, a security warning. Just OK that and say yes, load. And then notice down here, you will see that it gives you a message to say that it started up. It gives you the version of the CAD tools you are running and also uh, the location of the configuration file. And finally, it also tells you which server you are communicating with. So uh, you need to make sure that's pointing at the correct server for your environment. Typically again that would normally be the case but if you happen to need to swap environments around perhaps from development to a production server then that might be changed so it's worth just checking that is what it should be. And that's basically how to get started in with the Excitec FM CAD tools.